Hi, my name is Jamie. I live in Saudi Arabia and I have a makeup collection that just keeps getting larger. It didn't. No, it did today. <laughs> so let's talk about it. If you're new here, hi. I really like talking about indie makeup brands. I really like to do like little eye looks here and there for you and just generally talk about makeup. And if that interests you, please feel free to subscribe and comment, like, everything. And if you are returning, thanks for coming back. I really appreciate it. And as always, thank you so much for leaving me your comments and it's fun. Thanks. Today, what we're going to be doing is a little bit of a full face of first impressions. I know, another one. <laughs> Today is going to be a little bit different though. I will explain in a moment, but yeah, I have a bunch of makeup that I have never tried and I am interested to put it all over my face. So if you're into that, my cat just jumped in the laundry basket. If you're interested in that, keep watching. So in a rare departure, I am going to be trying a new eye base and I have the Kiko Milano neutral eye base. Go figure. It looks like this. You can see that little blurb on my hand. And I'm going to apply that just with my finger. That's how I usually do it anyway. Definitely feel a difference. It's not like blocking out as much uh, pigment on my eye as I'm used to, but it is very neutralizing there. That's a little more. So yeah, it's not giving me like as harsh of a like light to eyeball blend as I'm used to. It's kind of nice. So because I'm using a new eye base, I'm using a palette from a brand that I have tried before and I have historically liked the formula but this is a new to me palette. And I have not yet gone into the Jamrock Extreme eyeshadow palette from Makeup by Yolando. And this is what the palette looks like. As you may remember, I got a massive eyeshadow haul <laughs> this month and I have not used this palette yet. It looks really beautiful. And yeah, I was thinking I should get into it today. Oh, this has committed a cardinal sin, in my opinion. There is a sparkle black, and then that is the darkest shade. But I still think I can make it work, for sure. Um, all these purples are super beautiful. I think I can do this. I'm gonna go ahead into a voiceover, and I'll give you my thoughts on the palette, and let's get started. All right, here is your voiceover. As promised, we're going into the shade Pooch, and I'm just putting that down in the outer corner or the outer V, and I didn't really know how to feel at first because everything seemed really dry. It just wasn't as pigmented as I've been used to, and then I went in and darkened it up with Cassie. Next you'll see me blending out these two darker shades with the shade Denise, and overall, the experience of this palette is different than what I've had before with the brand. The shadows in this palette seem very dry and a little bit less workable, I'm not sure. Okay, I'm back, sorry I had stuff happen, but I just kind of darkened up everything with all of the shades that I've used so far. Nothing new, and then obviously I cut my crease, so we're right back. We're back, we're, we're fine. Oh, I messed up again. This voiceover is not going to plan. <laughs> so I went into Karen, Karen, in the first third of my eye, and then I went into Haley, kind of towards the edge here. <laughs> and yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and use some black Suva liner and give myself a nice big wing, I think. I'll, I'll be right back. This is not new, so yeah. Okay, I've cut my crease, I've put down some liner. I did a nice big thick wing. I'm not sure that I like that, but I wanted to use this Kaima Cosmetics glitter and I went in with the shade Nirvana. And Nirvana is like a magenta to green to blue almost, and it's just super beautiful. I was excited to use it. I hadn't got into it quite yet. And I was using my Gloss God's glue, and it was kind of gross and weird. Okay, so we're back. 
with me for the duration of the video. And yeah, we're gonna put more stuff on my face. So don't you worry. I'm going to be using a different base today. So I'm gonna be using a different base with a foundation that I already have. So I don't have a new foundation for today, but I have this new primer slash base. And I'm not even really sure what foundation I should use. I'm kind of debating on using one I hate to see if <laughs> the primer improves it. Or do I use one that I like to see if the primer doesn't work? Uh, to be honest, I'm going to try a foundation I kind of hate and might declutter. So I'm going to use the She Glam Skin Fluencer Full Coverage Foundation Balm with the Kiko Milano Skin Tone Face Base. So I have no idea how this works, and I think it's green. So I don't know if it's color changing. Is it like the Arborian? Like, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. But you know the Arborean one? Actually, I really liked that one back in the day. I used to use that all the time, just even on a no makeup makeup day. Like, I'm not even a no makeup makeup kind of girl. But that Arborean stuff is real lit. It's not, it's not like changing color, but I do see it really changing the tone. Do you, it's subtle. I don't know if you can see it but I really do like it. And the texture feels nice. Obviously I'm putting it more on like my cheeks that are red. I'm gonna put more on my nose because my nose is red. Go figure. But yeah, look how subtle it is, but it that that's what you want in a corrector. You don't want to have like just a very flat green corrector shade. You want something like this that just is ever so slight. I've loaded up my sponge a little bit with the foundation and I'm just going to bounce that in a little bit. Shut up! Saudi Arabia! So my experience with this foundation is that it looks great going on, but it does not last at all. And like, I've used a brush in the past, so I'm just trying to not put too much on. Okay, I'm gonna let that dry down a little bit and move on. I haven't put on any lashes yet, so it's gonna look different once I have lashes on, I hope. <laughs> I can see sparkles just flying everywhere. I have a new concealer today. I have the Lottie London Got It Covered concealer that is enriched with vitamin E high coverage concealer. I have it in the shade Silk, which I think is going to be dark. Really, really, really dark. But as we know, I love Lottie London. I truly do. <laughs> and everything I've liked from them, or I've liked, rather, I've liked everything I've tried from them so far. So we'll see. I'm just concerned about the color with this. This is a kooky color, I think. It has, um, this application is weird, or this applicator is weird. How do? Okay, I'm squeezing. I see product coming. Ooh. A little dark. It's a little dark. <laughs> mm. I hope it doesn't oxidize. Imagine how that would go. That might be worse. Oh, but I see it drying down almost instantly. Okay. I'm more impressed with that than I thought I would be. Actually, it's dried down. It doesn't look like it's adding any texture, really. It dried down quick too, actually. I don't mind it. 
So I'm not sure how I'm gonna feel about this next product, but I have a Lottie London Sweet Blush Liquid Blush in the shade, oh, Sweet Blush, Sweet, Sweet, I don't know. So I'm gonna go with another sponge. I'll be right back. Oh, yep, this is why I don't like these. The squeezy tubes explode so much. Oh my God. Ah. Ah. Oh boy. And now I can't get the lid back on. Come on, please. Okay. All right, so I have lots of blush. Okay. Oh. Oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> okay. Okay, that's fine. I mean, it's cute. It's just a little more pink than I'm used to, you know? And I still have this much left. So much blush. There, put some on my nose. There you go. Am I that person? Not really, but okay. There you have it. That's the kind of day I'm having, I guess. Oh dear. <laughs> the next product that I'm going to be trying is the Tarte Sculpt Tape, and I have mine in the shade Cool Bronze, which is supposed to be a contour shade. And you know, these are all the rage right now. How do? So it also has one of these like sponge tip applicators. Hello? Hello? I have fear. Am I doing it wrong? Twist. Oh. <laughs> Twist to unlock. <laughs> That's clever. Twist to unlock, squeeze product, lock after ease. That's nice. Okay. Oh. There you go. Yep. Okay. Let's start there. Is it looking, is it giving Neapolitan ice cream? A little. I would say this is not a cool tone on me. Hmm. Maybe it's the blush. And dang if a little doesn't go a long way. Are you seeing that? It's kind of a lot. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Ooh, this is looking a little not good. <laughs> not loving this. It's just looking like a lot of makeup, but not in a good way. Like it's it's a lot of blush. It's a lot. There. That's blended out a bit better. I was giving myself a chin strap, you know. I'm gonna take my NYX jumbo thing and try to like make sense of my nose here a little bit. Okay. Whew. Okay. All right. So I think the wisest thing to do at this point in time is to powder. <laughs> so the next product I have is a little bit different. I'm not sure how I'm gonna feel about it because I'm not sure that I'm going to be using it correctly per se, but I have the Super Goop Resetting Powder with SPF 30. And I may try this at a later date. I have this set aside to try, but honestly, I think I wanna try it like out in nature and see how it really 
sets and if it does reset and does it help uh throughout like does it help during the day to reset makeup and also give adequate sun protection so i'm interested in those aspects of it like the more skincare aspects of it so even though that's the powder i have for today i don't think i'm going to use it because i don't want to like put on powder for the sake of putting on powder so i think i'm going to go ahead and use just some kimchi chic puff puff pass powder and move on from there and try to set my face a little bit okay so as i'm setting my face i'm not hating it as much <laughs> Oh shoot, I forgot to put this. Oh, shoot. Mm. Okay, well, I can figure it out. Okay. I'm going to try. We'll see if this turns out disastrously. Well, maybe I'll put it on my shoulders. I'm going to try to put on this Lottie London Body Glow. I don't have a new highlighter, but I wanted to try uh, this body glow, and just a bunch of it came out. So that's what it looks like. Is it nice? It's supposed to be non-transfer proof. <laughs> oh, it is, it is kind of nice. I do sort of like that. Um, I wish I hadn't got it all over my hands, but, oh, it dries down. Maybe I'll try to put it on just as a teeny tiny highlighter because I mean my hands are anyway oh there it does dry down which is so interesting but oh mistakes Oh, a mistake. This was probably a mistake. Oh, mistakes. Oh no, oh no, oh dear, oh dear. Ugh. Yeah, that wasn't a good idea. Um, it's just on my face. It's literally sitting on top of the skin, but. Oh wow, I had it just a just a blorch of makeup yeah so that was a bad idea <laughs> that did not turn out well for me um gotta find other places to put it i like it on my body go figure but i am not liking it on my face it's very look at that you can just see the splotch. I'm gonna try to wet my sponge and also wash my hands, so I'll be right back. That's okay. Oh man. Oh man. Yeah, I just ruined my. I just ruined my makeup. <laughs> I just totally ruined my face, I think. So, to be fair, it's not intended for face. It says body glow. And <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, body highlighter. So. Probably not specifically intended for your face. It's just that like usually, you know, it's fine. <laughs> um, especially with it being vegan and cruelty free, it's not like anything is gonna be in it that is gonna impact my face, you know what I mean? So don't do that, <laughs> but I'm just gonna pretend that didn't happen. Oh, okay. Yeah, don't do that. That was bad. That was a bad idea. Number one, don't put liquid highlighter over powder. We we all know that. <laughs> but uh, number two, don't put this body highlighter over it. Last, no, not last. So next one, I have a Kiko Milano Smart Blush in the shade 03. And I have one other Kiko Milano blush that I really, really like. And I think it's in this shade 07. So I have no reason to suspect that I don't like the formula. I just might not like the color. But this is actually like lighter than my other blush. So we'll see. We are wearing blush today, everyone. That is happening substantially. Yeah. 
cute. It's fine. Very, very much, very much my preference in blush. So well done. Well done, Kiko. Okay. I did buy, I'll go ahead and try it. I did buy the Maybelline New York Sky High uh, Sensational Mascara, blah, 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 blah. And I'll put that on probably at the very end. Do I have anything else to try? I'm going to jump off camera and kind of finish up my eyebrows, details, put on lashes, and I'll be right back. Okay, it's coming together. And I'm gonna go ahead and use this mascara. I only have, this is my third Maybelline product. I'm not really a drugstore girl. Well, not Maybelline, I guess. Okay, I need this lash to stay down, so I'm gonna let that sit for a minute. It's it's hard to see like how mascara is gonna work the first time around. I feel like you've gotta like dip into it a few times and let the brush get really coated, but it seems fine. That said, I mean, I obviously wear lashes consistently, so I'm not the best judge of mascara at this point. So, you know, moving on. I have the Lottie London Oil Slick Nourishing Lip Oil, and this is in the shade Oil Slick Blueberry Kiss. And it's this color, and it's very cute. Very drugstore. It has the like stickers covering it, which is less than cute, but whatever. Okay. Hmm. Um, it smells like it smells like fake blueberries. No pigment, just comfortable. Mm hmm. I don't know. All right. So here's my finished look. What do you think? So this very nearly went off the rails a little bit, <laughs> um, but I'm still gonna give you the rundown. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, that is pretty. Ooh, ooh, okay. So I'm gonna give you the rundown on all of the products that I use today and kind of what I think. So this is, in fact, my very first impression of most of these products. I really have to hurry through this because I've gotta go. So I'm just gonna kind of grab things and go in order, I hope. The uh, Lottie London Body Glow, if used as directed and on your body, it's great. <laughs> I think it's very nice. It dries down very nicely. Uh, I'm gonna wait and try the Super Goop another day and I'll kind of give you the rundown on that later. I know I like the formula of Kiko Milano blushes and this is also a nice shade. Um, yeah, it's fine. I like the gloss, the gloss is nice, comfortable. The Kiko Milano face base, I actually really like and I'm liking so far how my skin looks. So I am gonna give it another wear test and see if it in fact makes like more finicky foundations stick a little bit better because honestly, my skin's looking kind of great. I was a little worried that this concealer was gonna be the wrong color, but it is okay. It's definitely a summer shade for me. I'm not aiming to like brighten on my under eyes, but that said, it looks really nice and it does really dry down, but not too dry. So I'm gonna give it another try and see what I think about it. This glitter from Kaima Cosmetics, I mean, it's beautiful. I knew it was gonna be beautiful, but yeah, we know. This sweet blush, liquid blush from Lottie London, um, it's a little much. I am not sure I like how it just out of the bottle, but it is a pretty color. It's just very pink, but I was able to kind of tone it down just by blending and making sure that all of the layers went evenly. The Tarte Sculpt Tape, I'm gonna keep working with. Again, I'm not quite sure that the color is right for me, but it was easy to blend out. And although I was concerned, it did eventually blend out really well, even like on my jaw, as you can see. So that was a positive experience overall, just a little scary in the middle. Um, I'm not sure how to feel about this because I'm not really sure how to feel about this <laughs> because this felt a little dry to me, but I mean, it did, it did blend. It did blend eventually. It just seemed like it was a bit more work than I was historically used to with this brand. So I'm not sure how I feel about this. 
So I'm gonna give this another try. This is obviously the eye base and I don't know. I'll give it another try while using an eyeshadow palette that I have used before and see what I think. So hold on that. And this Sky High mascara, it's fine. It's mascara, I don't really care about mascaras. All right, so thank you for watching another video of first impressions. Uh, thanks for bearing with me there for a minute. It was a little scary, it was a little scary. So I will see you next time and I hope you have a lovely day.